Welcome to the art project. We're going to work on an organic and geometric shape project that eventually we will paint in. This is part one, just talking about shape, organic and geometric. We're going to talk about shape, specifically organic and geometric. Organic are shapes that appear natural and geometric shapes appear man-made. Shapes that appear natural, uh, shapes like just blobs, your heart or your liver, um, those are natural looking shapes. It doesn't look like I used a ruler, it doesn't look like I put a lot of thought behind it or anything like that. They're just kind of naturally occurring shapes. Uh, another example might be um, kind of a leaf or seaweed or kelp, or coral. Uh, the opposite of that would be geometric shapes where I'm actually going to use sort of a, a ruler or a straight edge to create uh, some of these shapes. So shapes that you've heard of uh, like rectangles and squares and uh, octagons or hexagons. These would be man-made shapes. For the project that we're doing, we also want to consider like static and dynamic. Now static is boring. Um, pieces that are sort of locked together. Um, objects that overlap, go through one another, that perhaps even uh, leave the working space, create sort of more dynamic uh, situation. These shapes here look just trapped inside the picture frame. These uh, look like they're free to come and go as they please. So one good way to create dynamic imagery would be to uh, overlap. So like if I had a square and I put a circle behind it, that's a little bit more dynamic than just having a square and a circle with no interaction with one another. Another way to do this would be to have the pieces interacting with one another more. I'm going to create a little square here and I'm going to put a, a window. But then I'm also going to create uh, an element that pierces this window. But uh, what I want to do is I want to make it look like this arrow goes through that window. And so to do that, I've got to erase certain parts of the square and certain parts of the arrow. And now this arrow goes through that square. This can be done, of course, with um, organic shapes as well. You have a big blob. That big blob has a, a hole, a window cut in it. And you want to create something that goes through, maybe even comes down. You just have to erase part of the original shape. Part of the new shape that's going through it. It's uh, static versus dynamic. So we have overlapping, a window, and we have piercing, which is this arrow going through this shape, and this shape going through that shape. Don't forget pieces leaving the format of your picture, going on and off, falling into the page and falling off of the page, creates a more dynamic composition. In music, you have something known as rhythm. I think most of you probably recognize it, know it when you hear it. You have something repeated, like say a snare drum, repeated. Now. 
if it was just a snare drum repeated, you wouldn't be very interested in it. Uh, you, it wouldn't take you long before you turn that off. But if it also had, say, a, a bass drum repeated in between it, maybe twice, then you would uh, probably like that sound a little bit better. It would be a little bit more interesting. And then if um, some other music played as well, maybe uh, some guitar came in at some point and created a new sound, that would make it interesting as well. And notice how there's like a high on this guitar and a low on this guitar. We have rhythm in this. Now, also, I want you to pick up on the fact that I just drew what I was trying to explain to you. So visually, we have rhythm in this picture. So on the work of art that you're going to do with organic and geometric shapes, there needs to be some sort of a rhythm in the shapes that you use. They don't have to be exactly the same because the human brain puts it together and, and gets it. And they don't even necessarily have to go the same direction. In order for it to create that rhythm. And you also don't even have to see the whole shape to understand that it's being repeated. Also, you don't want to forget about things like um, uh, variety and overlapping. All right. So consider these things when you when you're making your work of art. 